under enemy have their own constitution. NAD has the way they deal with their own problems. But it is under the purview of my presidency to moderate. But of course, in a democratic setup in NAD, the neck of NAD has a superior argument over what the officers present. In this case, NEC has decided that whatever the MOU is, it is like any other MOU they have signed with government that were not implemented. So, it's lack of trust. All right, so, Prof, oh, I'm the that, only one they can trust now. That means that you're, because you've talked about your integrity being at stake here. So, does that mean that they went ahead to override your your integrity i don't understand because if you are the negotiator in this case and things don't go through you anymore then your relevance becomes void hello can you hear me i'm asking you that you have talked about your integrity in this case in this situation and if information goes and boycotts you that really gets you out of the picture. You are, not, you are practically no longer relevant to them. Well, that, this is the first time I'm being called to mediate. All along, we have been moderating them in-house. And that's why this took a protracted period of time. 21 working days is enough for the government to have come in. They waited until two weeks after the, I mean, before the declaration of strike, Towards the end of the two weeks, government now felt it. They could call them for another MOU. Just hang on a second. We need to go to a break, but we'll be back with you in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back, Professor Grima. Uh, in, in that clip, that tape that was played, you were visibly, you were angry. You, I think that's why you said two wrongs don't make a right. And that's why some people thought that uh, you did not support the strike at that time. Do you support the strike now? A professor at my level will not support any action that will lead to the death of patients. But we have, you have listened to how we have argued it out. If government on its own were <clears throat> honest and transparent, this issue would have come up now. The issue has been lingering on since 2013. So the issue is lack of trust. Are you optimistic? How optimistic are you that negotiations, negotiations are taking place today, right? Sure. How optimistic are you that negotiations today will end the strike? I'm very optimistic. By the time we meet, the issues of claims by centers that they have received salaries or uh, shortfall uh, areas, we'll be able to trash it today because we had enough period in between that meeting and now. So we'll be able to confirm. And I think if those centers have received those money, they should release it. They should pay the shortfall. And I'm sure once the resident doctor sees a lot in their bank account, they will honor the agreement. For once, they will start trusting the government. Would you say that resident doctors have received a raw end of the deal? Because they also complain about the fact that they were also categorized as temporary staff, uh, not being reflected uh, in, their, in their pension system as well. Of course. There is a circular too from pension office that they are pensionable. The issue of temporary doesn't come in. I was a resident doctor. But by the time I finished my training, my years of service was we are transferred to my present uh, employer. So you can't say they are temporary. If they are temporary, they will not be in place to offer spe specialist services. They are pensionable appointment, and they must be seen to be contributing to the pension scheme. Some centers are deducting this pension scheme, mm -hmm. and they are not remitting. Mm. 
that's definitely trouble. And it's something we sure. definitely hope that uh, will be trashed out and, you know, doctors will be back to work to save lives, which yeah. is their calling at the end of the day. But we must thank you most kindly thank for you. coming on Sunrise Daily. Uh, Dr. Michael Girima is president of the National Medical Association. Channel, beg your pardon, Sunrise Daily will continue about now with uh, the gentleman in Lagos. Yeah, understandable it happens <laughs> to us all too. <laughs> well, yes, indeed, that's the show today. As you always, thank you all for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Uso. I am Gimba Omar. Thank you. <laughs>